A student produced this for UND's TV show, Studio One. Art is one of the hardest professions to get recognized in. There are many reasons behind people's artistic passions, but one man paints with a purpose. Uh, this paint is pretty much universal. Mike Huckstra has been interested in art for as long as he can remember. I've been drawing since I could hold a crayon, basically. Mike custom paints just about anything he can get his hands on, from video game controllers to guitars. But he recently discovered a new challenge. There was a Facebook story going around uh, about an artist on the East Coast, and she was doing this uh, head-shaping helmet painting so that you know they would look cooler. Mike saw this as an opportunity to embrace his love for art and give back to those who need it. Got a natural, you know, God-given talent to do something with and 15 years I didn't do anything with it and decided it's time to make use of it and do something good. Since then, Mike has painted about 10 helmets with designs ranging from Finding Nemo to Tonka Chuck and Friends. Even though most of these projects are for random families, one hits closer to home. Since we have a good sense of humor about it, we wanted the under construction part in the back. So we got, got that and Big Brother Max there with the jackhammer. Mike's niece, JC, has torticollis, which is also referred to as twisted neck. If not corrected with a helmet, can lead to the child's head being entirely distorted. Mike's artwork has made this uncool accessory into an item of envy. When we took her to daycare the first day with it, one of the little boys, I want a helmet. <laughs> JC's mom has a simple philosophy. You fix your kids' teeth if they need braces, so you know, why wouldn't you fix your kids' heads, so. Even though Mike is making a difference with every helmet he paints, he remains a humble hero. I make do with what I have and love every minute of it. I'm Brady Kappas, reporting for Studio One. <laughs> Studies show that 1 in 10 infants now need a forming helmet. If you'd like to contact Mike or view his artwork, you can visit his website at spikedairstudio.com.